Hey there everybody, Jeff here, Air Maddox. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing great, enjoying my isolation, smoking my cigars. Definitely not isolated from my cigars or my pipe, thank goodness. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'm going to start a new little thing, maybe once in a while I'll do it, where I go through my cigar bands of all the cigars that I've been smoking the last two years or since I've been doing my cigar journal, and just grab one and then whatever comes to my mind about that cigar I will talk about briefly as well as maybe talk about a topic and today's topic will be about having your own YouTube channel and what's it like pitfalls good things things I've learned in my little journey since I've done it now when I first started my channel uh, I think I basically just wanted to do what everybody else was doing um, or that I enjoyed watching was do some pipe tobacco reviews and cigar reviews just give my opinion on stuff like that and I used to like to really rant about different topics and stuff but I found over time that um, you kind of have to pick what you want to do. You can't, if, if you want to, you know, really enjoy your channel or you want to, you know, be somewhat successful at your, you know, make other people happy and, and satisfied with your channel, you kind of have to uh, stick with a certain, um, try to narrow it down to a certain topic. So I basically just ended up mostly just doing um, tobacco reviews and reviewing um, just stuff that I liked or stuff that I thought wasn't reviewed as much, you know, maybe it was a, a more rare tobacco. You guys know that. Also, I wanted to maybe start a channel um, also because I was getting into some public speaking and I just wanted to practice getting in front of a camera and watching myself and maybe I could pick things up, little bad habits I might have had, like repeating the same word over again or using ums and ahs, which I still do. I haven't really improved that much, but it has been good for me. I have learned quite a bit and I have noticed a few little quirks that I used to have and as well as learn just learning something new, how to do some video, video editing and um, just dealing with YouTube and lots of other things as well. So okay, let's pick a band and we'll start. Uh, we'll start. So first band I grabbed was LFD, La Flor Dominicana, Double the Hero. So what do I remember of this one? Um, first thing I think of with a lot of the LFDs is kind of bitter. Some of them uh, I really wanted to like them, and some of them I do. I think this one I actually did enjoy quite a bit. It had the flavors that I liked. I do find that pure Dominican. Um, Tobaccos usually just aren't my wheelhouse, but they're usually not strong enough. So I figured LFDs were known as really heavy cigars, so I thought I would like them. And about 50-50. Some I do, some I don't. So some good things about having a YouTube channel. One, you're part of a great community. Meet lots of really cool people. I've met tons of people. Um, lots of cool connections. It's been fun trading tobaccos and talking about different topics. It's sort of like, it's one of those hobbies, pipe smoking and cigar smoking, where it's kind of rare. It's not like it used to be where everybody did it. So we're few and far between, and it's nice to be able to connect. And even though I'm talking to a camera, it feels like I'm talking to other people and I'm sharing. And uh, the comments I get allow me to, you know, get feedback and, and share. And it feels like you're, you're part of something. Which can also be a drawback as well. Is sometimes uh, you'll find uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's grab another. Uh, let's grab another one here. What do we got? We've got Havana Castle Red Label. Probably one of my favorite cigars right there. It's a local shop. Um, they have a bunch of them. It's sort of a chain here in Ontario, Canada. And that cigar is just a nice, peppery, full, roasty, toasty cigar. And it's a good price. You can usually for Canada you can pick them up. I think they're usually three for ten for the Robusto size. Great cigar. And they have others. They have a green label, a black label, which is a Maduro, and a white label, which is pretty pepper. Okay, so downfalls. Uh, another thing, um, part of the social aspect is I think a lot of people, it turns, have get turned off is because I think when they first start a YouTube channel, they think they're gonna, you know, their opinions are gonna be, like they have something really great to offer, and I think a lot of times you realize that there's unless you really stand out and are really special or have really unique opinions or you're the first to do something you're probably just going to be another fish in the the ocean and I think a lot of people end up getting a little um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word just disappointed and they just uh, kind of fade away you've seen tons of channels they come and they go and, and some of them you can just tell that they expected more and it just didn't turn out that they, the way that they wanted to. Um, all right, let's grab another band. What do we got here? 
Oh, it's just a foot band from a Camacho Triple Maduro. One of my, that's probably my favorite cigar. It is just, I, I think I've already um, done, I've done a review of it, plus I've talked about it in my top five cigars. Just a great, unique cigar. I don't think there's any other cigar out there that uses all three, you know, binder, filler, wrapper, Maduros, and uh, just a great, great, unique cigar. Love it for being unique and for being great tasting. Uh, okay, so. Something else good about uh, YouTube. Um, yeah, the community is great. Um, well, you see a lot of people, They, when you're reading the comments or, you know, people are, you should, you know, if you're ever thinking of starting, you know, a YouTube channel, you should do it. And I'm thinking, mm. for the reasons I've mentioned just, just before, you might want to think about it. It is a social media and it can get really annoying. You have to have a thick skin sometimes. If, if, if you care about what other people think down deep in your heart, and that that'll that not affects your mood, then this is not the thing for you because you have there's lots of opinions out there and some of the opinions are harsh because it's easy to to um, put up a front when you're behind a computer and you're not facing somebody. So sometimes you'll get comments that if you're not uh, expecting them or if you just have a soft spot, you know it it, it could really get to you and, uh, and bring you down like all social media can. So. If that's the kind of thing, you know, that that can bother you, definitely uh, want to think twice about starting a YouTube channel. All right, what else have we got here? We've got the Macanudo Inspirado Red Label. Now, there's a couple times I wanted to do a review on that, and I, ha I started the video. I had three of them, and all three videos didn't turn out, so good cigar. Most of the time when you think of Macanudo, you think of milder cigars, but good flavor. That one is one of the ones that's on the stronger side. It's got a little bit more, it's a little bit more bitter, a little bit more, it's strong, probably full, but a real woody taste. I enjoyed it. Uh, the one, one of them out of the three, it wasn't that great, but the other two were really good. Uh, another pitfall of YouTube, and you might not notice it at first, but it comes out after, is sometimes um, you can tell that some people Especially if you've been around for a long time, you start getting into your niche. You know, some people that maybe first supported you or you supported them, they they kind of fall to the wayside or they kind of disappear, and you you wonder why sometimes. And a lot of times, you know, people have their have they. I think it's their opinion that they expect you to do what they're doing. And so, say you know, one person might say, "Ah, oh, all they ever do is tobacco reviews," and that's I'm sure there's tons of people that look at me that way that you know his content is basically pretty simple he just does basic tobacco reviews and cigar reviews and uh, meanwhile I you know do all the put all this effort in and, and you know talk about you know famous pipe smokers or um, just other topics and people like that kind of stuff but you'll find that you'll that'll start separating you people will stop watching your channel um, just because they're just not interested in in what you're doing and that's fine you know that that's actually really cool that gives more people variety to you know if you're interested in topics and just you know someone smoking a pipe but talking about you know current events good but if you're just into say tobacco reviews you got those types of people as well and you'll notice that some people you can tell they're annoyed they're, they just get annoyed annoyed at you um, because you just you know or little things like, um, like for me, I'm personally a ghetto pipe smoker. Like I, my pipes are just a tool. I own them. They don't own me, own me. So I'm not afraid to pull them apart mid smoke and clean them out, jam them back together. Whereas you know someone that's, you know, that's probably drives other people nuts. You know, which is good. And because if you have an expensive pipe and you love your pipes and and you think they should be treated, you know, like gold, nothing wrong with that. That's great. But you can see how sometimes you know those we can rub each other the wrong way where I might go like you know why do you care what I do with my pipe or why do you care if I use a filter or not right but that's just you know one of those social media things that if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff it can you know it, it could be one of the pitfalls to it of the drama it's almost like sometimes you don't want to get roped into it but 
you know, you're not guilty by association, but it's sort of like if you don't take a side, you know, by not taking a side, sometimes you're taking a side. And, you know, that's one thing is when you do a video, a lot of times you get lumped in to a group, whether you like it or not. In my case, it would be the YTPC. So, you know, it just sometimes people have certain, you know, hmm, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's go to another band, shall we? Okay, what do we got here? Oh, here we go. We've got the CAO Flathead 554. CAO Flatheads. Really strong cigars, uh, nice and meaty. Always, one of those ones that if people like full cigars, I would recommend to, to anybody. Uh, great cigar, I've never had a bad one. Always enjoy them. Nice full flavor, but not too strong, but on the stronger side. What else? Sometimes having YouTube channels a lot of work. Um, you have to, you know, sometimes you might just want to have a smoke, but you're thinking that um, if I don't do this cigar right now, it's probably the only time I'll ever smoke it. So if I don't do a review on it, then I've just lost out some content on my channel. Then you've got your comments that you have to reply to, um, which um, just so you guys know, I'm getting my channel's getting a little bit bigger now, and I'm getting lots of comments. So um, instead of usually commenting right away, I usually like to wait a little while and then I'll do all my comments at once. I love, I love getting feedback. That's so nice to have that, that one on, you know, one with everybody and meeting new people. And it's great. You don't meet, you know, people live too much. So you can trade, you know, opinions and uh, uh, all that kind of stuff. And uh, that's, that's part of the fun of it. But anyway, yeah, so I like to go through all my comments and do them all at once. I read them all and I love them all. And if you, um, I do a lot of videos sometimes, so, if you have a YouTube channel and, uh, or, you know, you don't feel like you always have to comment if you don't feel like it. Just comment every once in a while. I love you. I know you're there. And uh, I know that it is, we're busy sometimes. And uh, there's no problem not commenting if you don't feel like it. So, all right. I think I'll leave, my, uh, leave, leave it at that for today. I think this video has gone on long enough. Um, leave some comments on what you think uh, about what I've talked about. Maybe I'll, I'll continue this, this topic later. Um, I know there's more stuff I wanted to talk about with this issue, but I just can't. I'm just doing this off the cuff, so it's uh, pretty tricky to do that sometimes. But yeah, I'll keep on doing this. If you like this idea of uh, going through my cigar bands and just uh, talking about something, let me know. Uh, that would be really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I'll see you on my next one. Till then, Aromatics, signing out.